Excellency and colleagues, I wish to thank UNITAR for launching this new women's leadership program and for organizing this particular session on the leading role of women in the context of weather and climate change discussions, which is also linked directly to a stronger role of women in disaster risk reduction. In March this year in Sendai, Japan, at the third United Nations World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction, world leaders and representatives of 187 member states reaffirmed their commitment to disaster risk reduction and called for a greater role for all stakeholders, including women. In particular, delegates emphasized the need to depart from traditional views of incapability and stereotyping of women as vulnerable groups. Weather-related events today cause more than 80% of all disasters worldwide. Disasters affect women, girls, boys and men differently. Inequality itself is a risk factor undermining disaster risk reduction. Many countries of course involve min women and men actively in disaster risk management and planning and have integrated gender dimensions into risk reduction and disaster response plans. Effective climate and weather services should ensure that women have better and equal access to critical information on hazards, risks, vulnerabilities and preparedness measures. Empowered women strengthen their leadership through decision-making in managing and reducing disaster risk and in preparing for managing and recovering from disasters. This is principal to the successful and effective risk reduction action. I am sure you will all agree that a stronger engagement of women is necessary in the work towards building a safer and more resilient future for all. Without women leading and engaging, such a future is not possible. Thank you for your attention.